When a health advisory group came out as advising the elimination of rice and rice products from the diets of infants and children under six years old, in order to lower the chance of developing lung or bladder cancer from arsenic contamination over their lifetime, I started to greatly reduce my rice consumption. This study found no association between rice intake and lung, kidney or pancreatic cancer, but did find a small increased risk for breast and bladder cancer. The concern is the arsenic content of rice. This study said, a systemic review and meta-analysis of the 28 published studies on the association between water arsenic and bladder cancer risk found that arsenic, even at low levels, almost doubles the risk of bladder cancer. Furthermore, a recent study from a case-controlled study on bladder cancer found that in the presence of elevated levels of arsenic in water, brown rice consumption may increase the risk of bladder cancer. The study found a significant interaction between water, arsenic and brown rice consumption, concluding that while there was no clear evidence that rice contributes to overall bladder cancer incidence, the interaction between rice consumption and elevated water arsenic should be further studied. So now let's hear from Dr. Michael Greger. They should be concerned about overeating any kind of rice because of the arsenic levels. Um, I have a whole series of videos on what you can do to reduce the amount of arsenic cooking methods you can use, different countries you can buy it from, different varieties. And the big concern is like there's some macrobiotic folks, for example, that just center their diets around brown rice. Like all they're eating day in and day out. You know, you're going to significantly increase your long-term over the decades risk of bladder cancer without much arsenic exposure. And so I encourage people to kind of diversify their grains. Should you never eat rice? No. The toxin doesn't build up in your system. These studies done on arsenic and bladder cancer were over decades of uh, arsenic in drinking water. Just this constant exposure. It's a matter of just, you know, not constantly exposing your body to it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.